Uh, whew, what did I expect? I didn't really know what to expect. I, uh, I just figured we would start with no house, and at the end of the weekend there would be a house, and I would just be useful in any way that God would have me. You could just tell that you had almost entered a different world. When we drove up and saw them standing there, we'd already been praying for them for a couple of weeks. And so it just it blew my mind that they're, you know, it's real people. It's not, it's not just people that you see on a, in a magazine or something. But. When we arrived at the property, I was already getting kind of depressed with the living conditions, the, the lack of, of uh, life material, greenery. It was just dirt, dirt upon dirt. It's almost like it was just kind of in the middle of, of a field and just a bunch of, a whole neighborhood that had just kind of popped up. When we started painting, all the kids just kind of flocked to us and they were really excited to see us and just get their hands dirty and work with us. They did everything. We ran out of paintbrushes because of how many kids wanted to paint themselves. And we even, they got all their clothes dirty and they painted everything that we needed. There was just this powerful impact of, I know what it feels like to love your children so very much and want so much for them. And, um, and I know in her case, to not being able to provide all that she wanted must have been very hard. And just, then just that joy when she looked at that house, knowing that yes, her children were going to have the care that she had wanted to provide for them for a long time. The teamwork allowed the church cross-culturally to be able to make a big impact in a place. And that was remarkable to see how everyone worked together regardless of language um, and really utilize the power that the church has. Everyone else, well everyone all together, they, they were super excited to help out um, and work with us. You could just tell how proud they were of that, that they could share with us. The dad was so into working with us. And you know, I've got a big family, he's got a big family, and he was just right there with us, and his kids were going back and forth, and I love that he was showing the leadership of his family by, by doing that with them. This love has woken up our lives, our souls, you found me with no life in me. You called me your own, and I feel you in the way you're moving. Feel you in the way you speak. You come alive when we are weary. You come alive when we are weak. Ooh, coming alive. Coming alive in you Ooh, Coming alive Coming alive in you Este amor se despertó En mi vida, en mi alma Me encontraste sin vida Me llamaste tuyo Y siento que estás moviendo Te siento Cuando hablas a mí Tú cobras vida en mi cansancio Tú cobras vida cuando esté débil uh, 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 uh. Cobrando vida, cobrando vida en ti uh, 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 uh. Cobrando vida, cobrando vida en ti Libre Somos, hay un fuego que vive en mí Libre Somos, hay un fuego que vive en mí 
We are set free There's a fire alive in me We are set free There's a fire alive in me This love has woken up Our lives, our souls Coming alive, coming alive in you. Cobrando vida, cobrando vida en ti. Oh, coming alive in you. Cobrando vida, cobrando vida en ti. guys so first of all uh, I want to thank Jesus Amen. for the opportunity for the opportunity he gave he gave us to Por la que nos dio. to share homes of hope with you and with the family y con la familia. so I know that he was he was the one uh, in charge of everything Sabemos que él fue el encargado de todo. He was the one giving you guys the joy. Él fue el que les dio el gozo. And probably not giving you the mistakes, right? <laughs> but he was like, but he was laughing of our mistakes, right? <laughs> we are, because we are not perfect. But every mistake, it turned out to be beautiful. <laughs> Familia, pasen a su casa. Estos. When we left, the mother said a few words to us, how happy she was that we went, uh, how glad she was that we were there to help her family. And then the father, who was not a believer, uh, said that he would like to say something, and he prayed for us. You don't pray to somebody unless you believe in him. And in that weekend, there was a man who didn't believe in God, who was helping us build a physical building, and in the end, it was God that impacted him the most. Yes, we build a home. Yes, we met his physical needs, but his spiritual needs were met by God, and he knew that. <laughs>